so we'll be meeting a taekwondo and the swimming champion his and his name is Dev. Welcome. Trail. Oh, hi, welcome and welcome, Dev, to Little Wonder. Mm -hmm. So, what got you interested in doing swimming? So, what inspired me to get in swimming was that um, I like anything that involves water. So, because I really like the beach, so I like um, anything with water to play with. So, do you have a favourite stroke in swimming? Um, I usually do the front stroke and back stroke. Uh, mm -hmm. What else have you learned besides front and the back stroke? Um, I've done uh, the freestyle one. The freestyle? Yes. Is that your favourite? Um, fav my favourite one is the torna tornado because um, I have the special tip um, for the tornado. Okay, and which one's your? Which is the hardest stroke you've ever learned? Um, the hardest one is, um, I think the soldier. Soldier. The soldier. Whoa. Yes. So it's a backstroke and. I'm not really used to backstrokes because um, at first we do the front and then we, when you get better at the front stroke, we do the backstrokes. Have you ever been to like any competitions? Um, no, not really. No school um, swimming? Um, but um, um, there is a, um, I did some swimming at school last year, actually not last year, I mean 2019, I did some wow. swimming. 
We went I hear you're in year three, right? Um, yes. So... Year one. Um, what got you interested into doing Taekwondo? So, um, when I heard about this name called Taekwondo, um, I was like, what kind of martial art is this? I've never heard of it. And then um, it sounded like a cool martial art to me. So um, that made me really th- um, inspired into um, Taekwondo. What's so different about Taekwondo to the other martial arts? So Taekwondo is um, a special martial art belonging belong to the Korea, belong to South Korea and North Korea. Uh, uh, and he uses lots of kicks more than punches. Yes, I heard. Uh, h- how do you balance doing swimming and taekwondo? So I just do swimming one day, and then I have taekwondo three days. In uh, a week. Do you sometimes practice like a taekwondo or swimming with your friends, like at school? Um, do they also do that? So um. I only have one friend that does Taekwondo, but we don't really do it at school. Okay, um, good. We just um, do it at home. Have you ever competed in Taekwondo? Have yes. you been to any competitions? Yes, yes. lots of competitions. Um, an Australian-wide, um, Australian-wide competition. Wow. And did I you get, do you have a certificate or trophy with you? Um, I have a gold medal. Wow, that's yeah, really impressive. Here. Was it hard to earn it? Okay, it's here. Also, are there belts for um, Taekwondo? Yes, Wow, definitely. that's very impressive. It was not for wow. a competition. It was just um, the it was just for training. But still, that's amazing. So. Do you have a type of belt, like a color belt? Yes, yes. So um, we have white first, that's a basic one. And then we have yellow, yellow one, yellow two, yellow three. And then we have blue and then red. And then um, at the second um, second best belt, which is called Chodambo. Wow. Uh, it's like a black and red belt. Um, the first, um, the special one is the black belt. That's the end of the belts. So if I just do, um, if I get one more belt, it'll be the black belt. How does Taekwondo help with um, real life? So like, if there's some, like someone like, um, someone coming to fight you, you can use self-defense using Taekwondo. Um, so it's like a fighting martial art. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about, do you have like any tips for s- beginners when they do Taekwondo or swimming? Um, I'd say I, um, I have one for swimming and I, um, I don't really think I have a one for the beginners for Taekwondo. So the one, the tip for Taekwondo, um, it, I mean swimming, is um, so when you do the tornado, um, there's there's this wall where behind you, and that's yeah. where you start off. So then, mm, I I found out this um, I found out this at another swimming school. So it was that you put your leg on the um on the wall behind you and then you just um when the teacher said the swimming teacher says you can go you just push off the wall and then you'll speed through wow so what's training like um when you do taekwondo so training is um for the beginners it'd be really um it'd be hard because they're just getting used to it and then um, when you get to the red um Tredambo and black belt it gets a little easy but um the basic pat um, we call the basic pattern um, is for the white belt the white belt um ones are easy and then it gets harder and harder 
So the trendom part okay. is really hard. Um, I, know so the, the do you... bit, I know the first bit and the second bit, but the middle part the middle part is a little confusing. What would you like to achieve in Taekwondo? I've seen this really cool move. Can you do it? The high kick? Um, you mean the um double kick? Yes, yeah. Yes, I can do it. I can do a jump wow. double kick. That's incredible. Um, so how do you prepare for Taekwondo? So we have this special uniform and it has a special name called a dobok. Uh, it's this white one, white um, shirt, and we have the belt. We always have to wear the belt, or um, we can't enter the um, we can't enter. Dojo? Yeah, the dojo. The dojo. Uh, we just um, get into the dojo, then we just um, we do some warm ups to refresh our minds. Then we do some, uh, we practice uh, some kicks and um, punches and other special techniques we have to do and then we have this thing called pumse so pumse is just um putting kicks and um punches and other special techniques all together it makes a for a set so um that's it so it's riddle time Okay, so the riddle is, what room do ghosts avoid? Um, the living room? Yes, correct! Congratulations, you. you just won a gift voucher from Studio M4. It was so nice meeting you, Dev. I hope to see you again. I've got a riddle for you. Oh, okay. Let's hear it then. Sorry. What is black and white and red all over? Black and white and red all over? Yes. That's a really tricky one. Hmm, black and white and red. Hmm. This is a very tricky question. Yeah. She's wearing red. I'm wearing black shoes and white pants. It's a trick question. Is it too close? It's a trick question. It's a trick question. Black and white and a red. Okay, can you give us a hint? Okay. Um, it uses a homophone. It uses a homophone? Yes. Hmm, we have no idea. I was thinking of newspaper, but that's nothing red. That is. It's correct. <gasps> really? Newspaper and book. <laughs> because um, it's white and black, and I mean red, not the color red, but the red, like I book, I read a book yesterday. Like that ah, red. Ah, like that makes sense. Anyways, thank you so much there for coming on to Little Wanda. I, we hope to see you again. Bye. Bye.